I remember calling some friends of mine and saying, dude, I just got this game. You, This is crazy. You cannot believe what you can actually do with this. They actually made the game and they gave you the tools that they used to make the game and you can do it yourself. And from there, just completely hooked. It has to be the best game that I've ever played. Yeah. Playing the first Little Big Planet game was awesome. It was a whole new experience. I know, like every, I'm sure for everybody, it's something that we haven't really seen before. I really enjoyed being able to actually like, create. When I first got the game, I just randomly saw an ad on the TV, I think. It looked like a cool game, because I'm kind of a creative person, and I like the artistic aspect of the game. I didn't start getting super good until I started playing Little Big Planet 2. People who make levels in Little Big Planet 2 are basically budding game developers. And now you have Little Big Planet Vita coming out, which is doing crazy things, and Little Big Planet Karting, which is doing super crazy things with 3D and everything, and still managing to be the kind of approachable complexity that Little Big Planet has always been. It's a really smooth game from what I've seen so far. Very easy to create in the 3D world. I decided to make the level dark and just use a lot of the magic lights and lamps. I mainly focused on like gameplay and like made my own weapons and stuff. Kind of got into that. I made three weapons. Um, one of them was this kind of sonic boom stun thing. It makes your screen white, sort of like a stunning effect. I have a sort of a construction themed level. I uh, started playing around with the terrain deforming and I was having fun with that. The giant dump truck parked in the in the middle of it was the first thing I made with the geo painting. Uh, it's a beach level. Well, I call it a beachy level. I done more on the terrain. Plus, I done the uh, grappling hook and the grabinators. We could throw the sucker balls to clear the path. It's like in a big uh, mountain valley. Two sides to it. There's two different towns: old medieval town, and there's a futuristic town on the other side. And in the center, there's this cow. And when the cow gets into the enemy's base, it actually infects that team uh, with mad cow disease. When I started my race level, I picked a wooden track. I laid out a basic track, and then I went in and manually edited the turns and the jumps. And I made some 3D cactuses. I made my finish line. It built up very quickly, and now it's really cool. I'm actually liking the 3D creating more than the 2D. Astounding exactly how much flexibility there actually was with the game. You're definitely not limited at all with this game. Everything you would expect from a Little Big Planet game, and it manages to do it all in three dimensions. I'm Tom, I'm a super creator. I'm Esteban, and I'm a super creator. Hi, I'm Justin Sharp, and I'm a super creator. My name is Nate, and I'm a super creator. I'm Josh. I'm Cody. I'm Michael, and I'm a super creator.